Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. I'm Andrew Glazer, and today I would like to teach you how to solve the following problem. So here it is. We have a cylinder, and it has a radius of x plus 2 units, and a height of 3 units greater, I guess, than the radius. Express the volume of the cylinder as a polynomial function. All right. So first thing is, whenever you're solving a problem, especially when you're dealing with, uh, you know, shapes, uh, volumes, almost any time you're solving a problem, even if you're not dealing with shapes and volumes, I want you to visualize the problem. You have to visualize it. Okay. Now, to help us visualize things, I'm going to draw a little picture. Right. So let's try to make a cylinder. So we got two sides, right, a cylinder. Then we got this kind of circular top. Okay, I'm going to try to make that look a little nicer, maybe something like that, right? And we'll go here, good, look at how nice this is working out, we'll go there, okay, almost looking like a real cylinder, and boom, okay? Now, what do we know about the cylinder? So that takes care of the first word, right? Basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take this like literally word for word, okay? A cylinder, boom, has a radius. Okay, radius, right? Half of that circular uh, diameter, right? It's half of the circular diameter of x plus 2. So the length here of this radius is going to be x plus 2. Wunderbar. And now it says it has a height of 3 units greater. I guess 3 units greater than the radius, yes? So what's the height of the cylinder? Well, the height would be from here all the way on down to the bottom. Okay. And what's the height? Well, it's three units greater. It doesn't say three times greater. It says three units greater than the radius, basically. So here's your radius. So it would be x plus two, but then it's three units greater. So you gotta add three. Cool. So in other words, this would simply be x plus five. Okay, that's what it means to be three units greater than the radius. Cool. So now here is the height. Here is the radius, and now we are tasked with the problem of express the volume of the cylinder. So what's volume of a cylinder? Now you have to either memorize the formula or you have to, you know, be given it or something. But the volume of a cylinder is simply going to be equal to pi r squared times the height. Okay, so it's the radius squared and the height. So basically in order to find the volume of a cylinder, all you need to know is the radius and the height. Wait a minute, we do. Right, we know it. What is the radius? It's x plus 2. Plug that in, x plus 2 squared. What's the height? It's x plus 5. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the function. That's it. This is a polynomial function now. Okay? Whether you need this with an x cubed now, whether you have to foil this on out and do all that math, who knows? I don't know. But this is a polynomial function right now. Okay, you have it in factored form. I don't know if you need it in standard form. It doesn't say. But that's the equation. But consider if you needed to progress, you know, if you needed to continue, you would do x plus 2, right, x plus 2, and then you'd have x plus 5. So just FOIL these two, right? So you would have, I'm going to do this quickly because it'd be x times x, so that would be x squared. Then it's x times 2, so that's going to be plus 2x, plus then 2x, right, plus then 4. And then you're still multiplying by x plus 5. Now what you'd have to do is then, you know, FOIL this basically, right? Well, it's not FOIL because it's... But it'd be x times x squared, x times x, you know, uh, x times this one, and then x times that one. And then you have to do the 5. Honestly, I'm going to be a little lazy here. I'm not going to do that. But because I don't think you really need to. This should be acceptable, all right? But in any case, that's what you would do, okay? That's how you would go about it. You would have to start expanding it. You know what? I can't just leave it, right? Uh, I got to finish this. So volume is going to be equal to pi. So this is going to be x cubed. Okay, then I'm going to combine these two terms. So that would have been 4x, right? But I'm, since I'm multiplying it by the x out there, so that would have been 4x squared. And then that would have been then x times 4, so that would have been plus 4x. Okay. Uh, now what I would need to do then is do the 5, yes? So I'd have to say then plus 5x squared plus then, and again, this was a 4x, so that would be plus 20x plus then 5 times 4 is going to be 20, okay? And then I'm not going to multiply everything by the pi, but here you're going to have then pi 
just combine some like terms, right? So start looking for some things that are common. This is in common here, right? It looks like I got this in common here. So you start adding them together. They're all positive, so you don't have to worry about the signs really. So you're gonna have x cubed, all right? Then you're gonna have plus nine x squared plus then 24 x plus 20. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That would be it in standard form, and you can see it's a cubic function, okay? But in any case, you know, that's all you would do. You can you can distribute the pi now if you wanted, but who knows, right? There's so many ways we can express this. In any case, I want to make an expression myself. I want to express how grateful we are, all right, to the people that are viewing our videos. I'm so happy to hear all the positive comments that have been coming in. Um, it really makes my day to read some of those comments. It really does. Uh, we appreciate you guys very much. Um, thank you very much for the support. You know, everyone who subscribed and liked and shared our videos. We wouldn't be here without you. So we truly do thank you. All right. And uh, by the way, check out our channel if you're new here. We got thousands of solved problems, not only in math, but chemistry and physics as well. We take a very detailed approach. We focus on problem solving. Okay. So thank you for watching.